Hello everyone, thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mokulover, and let's continue playing as Tlalocan for the last time in this campaign, probably. Because we only have 416 databanks out of 2048. And unfortunately, our Mexican daddy, he will pass on to greater, more technologically advanced pastures. So, anyways, let us continue on, my friends and uh, have a good time with each other. So, right now, since we're going to be divided, I really don't want to build too much in states that might not like me that much. Now, I'll finish up Tlaloxle, which we probably won't get when this empire breaks up or this nation breaks up, but we're going to definitely make sure Linares, as well as military factories in Linares, will be built up for us. So, anyways, um, I guess a little bit of a shout out to one of my subscribers. So Hata Pellegrima, Pe Hata Pellegrime, helping me set up Discord and just kind of showing me around Discord a little bit. And uh, all the things that I've learned about history. Anyways, uh, thank you very much for that, my friend. But let's continue just talk, having me talk while we are waiting for the inevitable end of our Mexican daddy. So right now it's 2279, January 2279, as we are trying to make sure we get caps for the vice royalty. I always say vo Viceroy, but Viceroy is different than Vice Royalty. So, yes, and we're obviously talking about the Vice Royalty over here, who hopefully will be doing okay once his, our protection for him is gone. Because the Protector's Guarantee will be up very soon. And this game has actually already lasted for at least four years now. Soon to be five. And just, you know, it's, it's hard to see things leave us. So, um... But we really want to make sure that we become much more intellectually based. Employ concessions, daily intellectual support. We might want to do that, but I want to make sure I support other people first before we do employ concessions. Support the luchadores. Gets the Tlaluk Tzbun. All right. We got a couple more light robots. So where are you guys going? You're going up here against Santa Ana, who uses motorcycles. Very interesting. Santa Ana, oh, advanced power management. They have the same focus or national spirit as we do. El Presidente, mandatory civilian equipment. The death of the father. I haven't died yet. Uh, but okay. Mexican regulars. Oh, we got a little bit of political power, which means nothing to us right now. Because we really can't use it that in any really good capacity. Military armament, oligarchy, elite support, democracy, people support. So we really are missing the other one that has 50 company. No, company speeches was good. We're missing the other one that would cost us 100 political power so we can increase the le, the intelligence or the intelligent party popularity for our country because we want to make sure Maximilian is a very popular leader. He is by far the most popular. The father is not very popular anymore. With second place, of course, going to Moctezuma and then falling down to Zapata. Now. You know, this happened last time when I was playing with the Enclave. Kaiser is already in a civil war. Now, that's very interesting to see that even though Kaiser took a lot of territory, they're still connected, which is not good for Volpus's Legion. Volpus's Legion will probably get crushed in this time, but we'll see what happens. But, I was going to say something else, but I can't remember. Oh. But, <clears throat> I don't know what I was going to say. So, with the breakup of our nation, basically we're like the Carolingian Empire of old, you know, the Kingdom of Romans and Franks, or the Christian Empire, what I looked on Wikipedia. I don't know, I'm pretty sure that it's, the breakup of the country will, is pretty much hard-coded to happen. I'm just talking about, like, who gets what territory. For example, in the Northeast, I, Maximilian, or us, we will get five states, one, two, three, four, five... Zapata will get stuff on the western portion, and Moctezuma will get most of the south, with a little bit of the central portion with Tlaloc's lair. But I don't know if that can change due to the amount of support we have already within the country. So that's actually something interesting that I want to find out. Light attacker. Downsizing explosive payment payload and moving them to internal bays. Increasing attack range at a cost of ground attack. Now, that's interesting. Naval striker, huh? Naval combat. And then we have ground pounder. These are heavy close air supports. 
What is the difference between that and a monoplane attacker? So the one on the right is the heavy close air support. So same manpower, same air defense, slightly less agility, a little bit less, five less. Air superiority is the same, naval targeting is the same, same. This uses, the one on the right uses a little bit more cells. The one on the right has slightly less range, same air attack, a little bit more strategic bombing, same naval attack, just a little bit more ground attack, same reliability and same production cost. Honestly, I would probably just go with the close air support just because it's already tried and true and you don't really have to think about it too much. But, let's see, you got Combat Blimp. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and go with Monotone Fighter for now. So, it's interesting to see how where you can take your country, where uh, you can lead, lead your country. It's very cool to see that. Very cool. This game, this mod, gives you a lot of options as to what you can choose. Which is great. A great, great thing. Ship designers don't really need that. Tank designers... Armor gets more speed and reliability, but... Eh, I don't know. Looks like the Chichen Itza is still holding on for now. How's that war going? A lot of manpower, a lot of divisions, and Nueva Atlan has some fewer divisions and fewer manpower. At least for now. Uh, Legion Civil War, Volpus, Kaisar, yeah. Vault City, Nueva Atlan, aggression for blank. 7,000, 6,000, Jesus, guys. Oh, networked AI, very good. So now we get even more, a little more army organization. And now we finish up with everyone getting a boost to hardness and armor. While the robots get better recovery rate, more hardness, they use less supply, which is, in my opinion, very, very important. And they get plus 10% more armor, which is good, but... 10% of two po of 21 is only 2.1 more. So that's not an extreme buff, but it, I will gladly take it. It looks like Chichen Itza is actually a little bit on the offensive. I mean, they did give some territory down here. White Legs declared war on New Canaan. Ah, the Western Brotherhood of Steel declared war on the New California Republic, which is interesting, we'll say. Because the Brotherhood of Steel, it's pretty normal. Uh, I can say that they seem to be expanding up against the NCR, but the NCR is allied with New Vegas as well as um, the Desert Rangers over here. Ne the Nevada Pact is alive under New Reno. That's interesting. And it looks like Kaisar has a little bit of territory down here. They actually won the battle for Hoover Dam and then expanded into Boulder City. Now, that's interesting. Usually you don't see that. The only democracy in Mexico. Enemies of Atzalan. Um, gift of weapons for the north. Gift of resources. Well, I'll do the only democracy in Mexico. We'll do that one. And ooh, decisions. Oh, old world tech, yes, please. And we need more intellectual support. I love company speeches. Nice, not bad. We have a lot of divisions, which I'm a little worried about, but we should be okay in the end. Should be okay. Necessary precautions. What does that mean for Santa Ana? Oh, I saw some cop here, but I wonder if it's still warm. Oh, it's still, pre still pretty warm. I say so. Santa Ana went with a hardline approach and necessary precautions. Wow, that's a terrible focus. It's only 35 days, but Reynosa only gets one outpost. That's it. Pressure the border. Unlocks the fight a border war with Rio. Okay. Underhanded methods. If anything. Once this country splits apart, I might want to try to ally with the Republic of the Rio Grande for a while and try to fight Santa Ana because he's a he's going to be a problem for everyone. And we got to check his power, despite other people might not want to. Oh, oh, yeah, actually, that's a good idea. Why don't we add in a level two radar up here? Level five out of two. What the garbage is that about? Someone is a little overpowered in Tlaloc's lair. Uh, but do we have? Oh, we don't have air bases yet. The Great Silo. We're still building up a lot of infrastructure in the areas that I will definitely contain or hold. Monterey. I'd love to build that. But we have other things we need to build at the same time. Infrastructure will be done by in two days. That'll be good. Anything else we can do here? No. Hmm. So Kaisar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to win against Volpus's Legion. Who is leading Kaisar's Legion now? Lanius? I think they... Oh, Every game I play where Kaisar's Legion has a civil war, it's always Lanius that rules. I mean, I love seeing Crown and New Augustus with the SPQR. The Immortal Empire. 
the new thesis, which is awesome. Ooh. Actually, I really like the new thesis because you get a lot more monthly population. But I really love the Brotherhood of Mars because you re get rid of rejection of automation and you can basically become a... Just, I would say, an up-to-date warmonger. Because you, you will be able to build so much industry, it won't even be funny by the time you get there. But anyways, um, can't do anything there. Land auction, we're almost done with. This thing, power armor and powered demolitions platoon versus airborne ghoul infantry, special forces platoon organization, and nightkin infantry. I'm thinking I'll probably choose the one on the right. Even though I really won't use power armor, I'll probably use powered fire teams and demolitions platoons. That's probably what I'll do, but anything for support equipment first? Heavy machine guns, that's good for defense. We'll do that. Six days left for sp special forces expansion or something. That'd be awesome. How's the war going? It actually, the NCR has hold, helped hold back the Brotherhood of Steel a little bit. They've actually advanced. Okay, that makes sense. New Vegas declared war on the Mojave Brotherhood. Yeah, they're surrounding them completely. But, I don't know. The New Vegas robots are not as well suited to fight power armor like power armor actually is. Ooh. We want more defense for spec ops or more capacity? That's a good question I'll ask for later. Um, Freecom. I'm going to use a lot of support equipment. So, we can probably see this part of New Vegas getting crushed. They already are, and they probably can't even get supply in here now. But, New Ve but the NCR will probably help them out in the long run. Yeah, the NCR has definitely expanded a little bit, even though they've given away some territory too. They definitely expanded, getting closer to San Francisco, Antioch, Concord. They have made some gains against Long Lost Hills Bunker. That's kind of cool to see them doing that. It's a good thing that the NCR is not at war with Kaiser's Legion yet. So the NCR, in my opinion, should be able to win. And I see a small encirclement right there. Small, small encirclement. Very good, my friends. Yeah, doing company speeches almost gives you nothing now. As you can tell by the lack of a daily change. So, uh, for some of you guys, you might be happy to know that I'm not bothered by any cats right now. Binky is outside my room, or he's far away from my room, I should say that. And he's probably b bothering other family members. Ooh, Mojave Chapter is doing pretty well. Hopefully we won't be bothered by Binky at the moment. Enemies of Atslan. That might be good to do. We don't share much common ground with the Atslan. Even at a glance, they look no better than any other warmongering blood tribe of the south. However, the key difference is that they are the sworn enemies of the Atslan. This just makes them an asset worth investing into, even if it's just to keep them busy. And they are being busy. Holy crap. Last time I played this, Nueva Atslan was actually walloping the Chichen Itza. But this time, I maybe should have given support to Nueva Atslan. Ooh, maybe we made a mistake. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I didn't make a mistake. Maybe I am just perfect. I am not. I'm definitely not perfect. Cool. Ah, uh, yeah, New Vegas is definitely losing that war in the south there. Oh, Vulpus's Legion was annexed. Kind of figured that would happen. Some manpower. Mojave Chapter has definitely less manpower and far fewer divisions. But their power armor is just very, very strong. Where I don't believe that New Vegas or Mr. House can really fight that type of power armor without a lot of special divisions. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh baby. Oh, but the Western Brotherhood, what happened? Most of the time, in most of my uh, Old World Blues games, they usually dominate the NCR, but granted, the NCR in my games usually are at war with themselves, at war with Kaisar, at war with the Desert Rangers, or Nerino, or the Enclave, or something, so. But Lost Hills Bunker, it is under fire. Oh my goodness. Now we got another two infantry divisions, very good. Current wars. Let's see. So, 5,000 losses so far versus about 3,000 some. Ooh. That's not good for those guys. Yeah, if I, if I have to fight California, the new California Republic, all by myself, it won't be impossible. It'll be definitely a good challenge, though. A good challenge for me. Uh, schooner hole. Uh, a canoe hole obviously sounds like a destroyer. This sounds like a, a, some sort of cruiser. I definitely want to get a Trierame. But I need multi-deck construction, so let's do that. Because I don't want to just make light cruisers. Because as much as I love light cruisers, I already have 24 of them. And they're just light cruisers. They're, they're easily sunk if you're fighting against capital ships. 
Do we have anything else for? Ooh, com more company speeches, daily intellectual support. Please go up. Please clap. Okay, it's going up by 0 0.01. Better than nothing, I suppose. Better than nothing. But whatever. Yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh my goodness. They're actually expanding up from here. Which is not really surprising, but the Lost Hills Bunker is completely surrounded. Oh goodness, whoever's here is going to be dying probably. If they can get to Necropolis, that could really help them out, but I really doubt that they can. What are the uh, stats on you guys? Broken Coast, Clare War, and Hide Confederation. No one cares. A lot of divisions. Good amount of manpower. The Brother of Steel has not a lot of manpower and not nearly as many divisions. Interesting. Let's just keep time going on, though. Let it go on, let it go on. Enemies of the Atslan. Yeah, I think I helped out the wrong country this time. Okay. Not a ton of divisions. Quite a few divisions. Quite a bit of manpower. Light exemptions. Results of last year's harvest. Less monthly population. Okay, okay. Recruitable population. Hmm, alright. Heavy machine gun. Alright, that's good. I really don't want to give too much of a bonus to my future enemies, but <clears throat> they will all be beat. Did my factories just go down by one? I think they did. I believe they did. Oh, good, 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 good. Um, go ahead and build some factories up there. And just in case, I doubt I'll need any of this. Uh, just build like this. I don't know if this will be necessary at all. And that's why I'm only building level 1 stuff. I doubt we'll actually get down here. But we'll see what happens. I, mean, I definitely want to build it against Santa Ana. So. Yeah, do something like that. I doubt we'll actually get to all this, but we'll see what happens. Glowing Ash. Eh, was, we don't really need all these air bases, honestly. So we could probably put you at the bottom, put you at the bottom as well. Monterey might be good, though. If we already have it up here, we really don't need it right here, Monterey. Discovery Old World Tech, very nice. Oh, the following loot are scavengers retrieved. Scavenging Old World Spy Book, which gain, grants us encryption and encryption plus 20% for four months. Wow, nice. Well, we welcome them back with open arms. The last will and testament would probably be good to do. Uh, he's dying, has been the case for many, many years since the bombs dropped, but only now is it looking like the end is in sight. It is prudential to set in motion our will, ensuring that all of those who we have favored receive their fair share when we are finally gone. And by fair share, I mean giving everything to Maximilian. Exactly, my friends. I don't think anyone in the military high command will really do anything. It's just organization, organic subroutines. So... Yeah. Aggressive. I'll definitely do aggressive, not defensive. I think aggressive would be better in the long run. Can't change this. Export focus. I could go to free trade, but... I don't really see the need to. So... And, wow, the Western Brotherhood has really collapsed. Oh my goodness, I would hate to be a member of the Brotherhood right now. This looks pitiful. This looks really pitiful. Recon 2, good. Um, let's get Recon 3, why not? Light robots. Now, like I said last time, when we do split off as a country, I'm going to almost instantly try... Oh, well, actually, let's, let's get some more uh, army XP first. And try to get... Uh, my combat divisions up to a, an acceptable combat width because right now my infantry is at like 16 combat width I think as well as my robots as well they are okay Kaiser's Legion at 14 combat width which means they're capable of doing work but once we are split off I'm going to make sure my guys can actually do a lot more work than our potential enemies I will say cool uh, this is a little bit ahead of time infrastructure uh Let's do rapid prototyping. That should be okay. That should be alright. Nice. Yeah, these guys are doing really well. Oh, someone got encircled, though. So, yeah, thanks for letting me know last uh, yesterday. Not last night, but yesterday. That these rivers are formed because the developers actually added them in. Because I didn't know there was this many rivers in Mexico. And there actually probably aren't. But it's a cool addition that the mod developers added in, so... Very cool. Very, very cool. Ah, oh, gotta love coffee, man. Got to love coffee. I should figure out where my coffee's from. Ah, Tlaloc. Unknown, alien, and alone. 
gazes at the surface through cold, dead lenses. Its miles of circuitry and constituent parts are rotting, decaying as the years pass and revealing more of its guttural mechanical innards. Uh, built by the brightest minds though America had to offer, technology none of them fully understood, the undisputed god of Mexico looms over all aspects of daily life like a spectra. And that's as much as I'm going to read because I don't want to read any more into it. Wow, look at the NCR. They walloped, or got rid of, the Brotherhood of Steel. Wow. Okay. Oh, wait, did they, did they just straight up annex them? They might not have been... The Mojave chapter might not have been allied, actually, to the Western Brotherhood of Steel. So that's interesting. So the NCR is definitely a California country. Jesus Christ. They, it's so much California that they even have a Baja California. Internal replicators, nice. We're done with our land doctrine already. Cool. Which actually is probably not good for when we fight our own people. But whatever. There's always ways to work around that. Oh... Baudelio ranchers aren't doing super well. Oh my goodness. Pilot exercises, you guys are doing great. Just keep it up. Um, oh, we're actually building a lot of forts around territory that will be ours, which is a good thing. Even though I... 100% mm, mm, infrastructure. I cannot say no to 100% infrastructure and do this. Glowing Ash, finish that up. Still building uh, like level 1 forts. Ooh, I... Tlaloc. A proprietary technology of ChicoNet and Petro Chico Incorporated, of sound memory and mainframe, hereby disclose these final disvestments to the worthy shareholders of Mexico. Though my time is now short, I can rest my processors in the knowledge that the legacy of democracy and prosperity will live on in Mexico, and that my sons carry on this legacy in the way that they choose fit. Petro Chico, thank you for your continued patronage, and hopes that you will choose other ChicoNet products from their top of the line catalog in the future. Oh wow, look at that construction speed and factory output, nice. Um, I don't know why I read it like that, but I'm not trying to sound like a Mexican robot. Maybe I am in real life. I don't think I am, but maybe I am. Uh, oh yeah, let's get a tree RMA. It's kind of weird to think about since we have nukes and stuff. Or, we have been nuked. Ooh, look at that. More company speeches. Love it. No war economy, that's fine. I would, Will my political power stay the same once we split off from everyone else? That's my question. Uh... And it looks like New Vegas has come back with the strength of the NCR. Yeah, Mojave Chapter just doesn't have the strength to really wall up everyone. Well, at least in the very early, in the, even into the middle game. They just don't have the strength to do so. Oh. Are you guys? No. You guys come over here. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Should probably stop training you guys. Kimmel Station, Glitter War, and Marrow Drinkers. All right. I want to try to get to 25 army XP, so that way I feel comfortable expanding my capabilities, we'll say. Oh, there you go. Stim packs. Very nice. That'll be good. So, as soon as I put all these stats on to my regular infantry divisions, they'll be very powerful. Very beautiful. Hmm. Love that coffee. Hmm. And it's gone. Hmm. Very cool. So it'll be interesting to see what Kaiser's Legion does next. Will they go after Genta de Sol? Will they go after the Navajo Nation? Will they strike the Scorpion's Bite, the Iron Alliance, with their dogs, Yampa, Painted Men, or even fight the Mormons? Actually, White Legs is fighting the Mormons already. Are they by themselves? Yeah, they're fighting a lot of Mormons. Mm, White Legs, New Canaanite. No, they're fighting by themselves. 2,000 versus... Wow! New Canaan's lost 5,000? Holy crap. Guys, guys, are you just... I guess you did take a little bit of territory, but... That's not very much to justify 5,000 dead guys. Holy cow. The A's clear War New Hammond. And it looks like the Mojave chapter is almost gone. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Ooh, we're actually out of re resources. We need more scrap metal. Yeah, that's pretty normal. Get even better recon. Even though I'm researching all support equipment, that doesn't matter too much. Even though I am doing that because I do have support unit research speed plus 10%. So that does help. That's why I kind of did that. Anything else here? And eh, scavenge for robots because we can, even though we won't make it there. Because I have so much political power, it doesn't even matter. Santa Ana, do not backstab anybody. Shielding the coast sounds like a good idea. No longer get the effects of Scavenge Old World Spy Book. Alright. 
Uh, what are we currently building? A lot of forts. Lots and lots of forts. Build a metal scrapyard thing. That'll be done by January 20, 2280. And basically, this will be the last focus I think we'll, we can take before we die. A prodigal son, actually. We could, might do that. Teach him aspirations. Chip off the old block. Um, I'm not going to do that. Let's not do that. I don't want to give him any weapons. I do not want to hinder Maximilian's efforts. Organic protection routine. Nah. This is okay. I could give a gift of weapons, but I really don't care. So I want to make sure we end up being... Oh. Honestly, we won't even be able to get to this anymore. Whatever. Let's have a good time with each other anyways. We won't be able to finish that either. Oh well. But we're building up forts, which is good. Just in case things go very, very south. And I know these will never get completed, but it gives me something to click on as we are waiting for our father's death. Yes, unfortunately. We will become a very defensive-oriented nation, even though we will expand out in the future. With the use of many, many planes. Oh, and there goes the Mojave chapter, annexed by Navegas. Cool. Thank you. Ah, we got enough army XP. Let you guys not exercise anymore. You probably are all super fit, all super happy, and that's the thickest NCR I've seen in any Old World Blues games I've ever played. Hmm. Gotta love water. We are 1%. We are at 1%. Sound the alarms. We are at 1%. We are still giving company, company speeches. And we only have 45% of the entire population's popularity support. Yeah. Words are hard. Oh, but we're still training our ships. Uh, go ahead and just go home. Get ready for the funeral service. We must all be ready for this. Long haul boats. And do we have ships repairing? Oh, just six three, very nice. Very nice. Oh, and there goes Pecos Colony. That's not good. Usually when in the Pecos when I see uh oh, that's not good. When Kaiser goes after the Pecos colony. Uh the Pecos can usually hold out for a while. They always lose in the end, but they usually hold out for a while. So it'll be interesting to see how far Sheila Bowen lasts. Good amount of manpower. A few divisions, not a lot. The Kaisar, under Lanius. A lot, quite a bit of manpower. Quite a few divisions. Trierame, nice. We get a brig. Get some thick capital ships. Get some more robots that will probably end up killing us. And it is 2280. We have almost no memory banks available. And we have negative 80% stability. This is it, my friends. This is the day. Okay. Out of time. Talk is out of time. His memory is all gone, and he is fading. Who do you wish to continue playing as? Well, who do you think I want to play as? Mr. Second Mexican Empire, Maximiliano. Hello. And here we go, my friends. Moctezuma fractures. As Tlaloc's memory finally decays into its last bank, another one of its sons has risen up from his fractured circuitry. Moctezuma, the greatest emperor of the Aztecs, has returned to power in the southern region of Tlalocan. There is no question about Moctezuma's ambition and desire to see that the Aztlani crushed. The only question is, when will he strike? Oh, actually, he didn't take this. He didn't take this part. Tlaloc's lair. Who gets Tlaloc's lair? Oh, no. Oh, Maximilian fractures as... It's basically the same thing, but he has promised peace and prosperity for his new citizens, but those wastelanders who have read their history books are doubtful whether he'll be much more successful than the second time around. And Zapata fractures, neighboring countries. Uh, oh. Zapata, the Mexican revolutionary, has kick-started his revolution in the western lands of Tlalocan, promising a new utopia under Zapatism. Neighboring countries used to, f used to the passive watch of Tlaloc, now to contend with a highly militant and aggressive heir who is keen to get back to where he left off in the first revolution. And Zapata fractures. Oh, I actually have, because you had enough support, I think, I actually got the lair, which is amazing. And I can spend 10 electricity to get to connect to ChicoNet. Make a core state. Oh, good God. I have to do that. I don't care what the implications are. We got enough electricity to do this. Um, do we have any uncourt state? Amazing. So basically, now we can play the game, guys. Hey, welcome back to uh, playing um, Hoi 4. We have a new focus tree. We have the death of Tlaloc. Which will definitely help us bring about more robots and get the event of the Empire of Mexico. Good. Good, 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 good. So we have these divisions. Oh, god dang it. We got rid of everything. Oh, my god. This is really starting over. Oh, my goodness. We got a lot of HR. Heavy robots. 
They're good for equipment capture ratio, but it's an even mixture. I mean, that's not bad. Uh, I'm not feeling good about that. But we got a lot of guarded divisions, which is good. Um, regarding that, they're only 14 combat width, which kind of sucks. Mm, split them in half. We'll do that. We'll make a full robot army. Uh, Miguel is in, with, with us. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put all the robots on the front first. I don't know how everyone is uh, going to react. This, uh, you know what? Actually, no. This is what I'm going to do. Because I don't know how everything's going to react, and we're basically out of time already, which is really unfortunate. I'm going to guard against these guys. I'm going to guard down here against Zapata. Or no, Moctezuma. And for us, I'm going to split you guys already in half once again. Put you two under some other random guy, probably. Put you over here. And then put you down here. That should be good. I'm actually going to steal away two divisions. So we can bolster the southern defenses. We have five research slots like normal. We're going to research a brig. We're going to research advanced tools. We're going to research the bricks. Industrial fertilizer. And some reinforced rate engineering crap. Uh, I'm going to keep this two at a time. I think that's pretty good. Imperial guards. I want light robots. That's what I really want. I guess we'll train... Some of these for now. I'll probably change these guys up. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Do that. Do that. Build some more stuff up. Even though we've actually built up a lot of stuff already. And go ahead and build this. I think we already have 26 civilian workshops. I think that's pretty good at the moment. Radar. We took clocks there, which is amazing. We want to build that up, definitely. Um, forts. I don't think that this will really be necessary. But I'll build some forts around here, just in case things go south. Uh, you never know who you might end up fighting. And definitely make sure, yeah, we got enough forts around here, so that'll be good. In the south portion, probably not as much, but we we just need more tiles, really, to make sure we have enough stuff. Basic weaponry, pioneer kits, support equipment, heavy machine guns. Uh, I need this. I'm going to continue doing both Protectron things, because cell usage... That, and then that. So everyone's got some stuff. We'll do this. We don't need to really do too much with the Pioneer Kit stuff. Um, support equipment is important, but not extremely important. So we'll get three. We'll get three. We do three across the board for everybody first. Maybe except for planes. Do this to five. That'll be important to do. Um, guns. Machine guns. What's my stockpile like? Crap. We have nothing. Everything I built was basically gone. Jesus. Oh my goodness. Uh, I definitely increase that by two, increase this by two, and then by one and one. That should be good enough. We got two dockyards. Do that. Go ahead and come to Monterey. The entire navy I was building was for nothing. God dang it. And we're not going to go too far into this. We basically just restarted the entire game. But we're going to see how everyone reacts and what's going to happen. Everyone gets you to defend to your defensive positions as fast as possible because I don't know what's going to happen I played up into basically up until this point until Moctezuma tries to attack somebody so we'll definitely see what happens oh Chico Net well, I'm glad I core to Lock Slayer that actually is really helpful oh my what is this X X Con Tla declare war on um Ejercito Libertador del Sur. That's amazing. I love this portrait. Oh, they declared one of the duchesses of vice royalty. Oh my goodness. Who's. So we're all at war with this guy. Ah, oh, Moctezuma. We are all at war with him, which is fine with me, actually. I'm glad I put a defensive position down here. I don't know if our former allies are going to backstab us or not. So I don't want to move my divisions away, really. I don't think that would be good. But we'll see what happens next time, guys. <clears throat> so, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, we have finally seen our father pass away. Rest in peace. Uh, Tlaloc. Uh, we've seen the NCR get freaking huge. Kaisar had his civil war. And now we're basically are having our own. So with that, mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out my Discord where I will ask you guys what you guys are up to. And just seeing how you're, you're all up to. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all have a tremendous day.